All right, all right, all right. We're here. We're in this. All right, let's go. Um, I before I vote, um, I just gotta say that I did not play every single game in 2023. I've mostly watched people play games in 2023, but I didn't play all of them. So, yeah, some of these are just gonna be based on what I've seen, or based on like based on what I've seen, or based on what I've played. So yeah. Or based on what I've watched Mr. Brobob's live stream. So yeah. So yeah, um let's see. So yeah. So yeah, most of these, yeah, most of these, yeah. I'm just gonna vote based on what I think. If you have a different categories, then uh, if you wanna whine about it, uh just make an account and go to Game Awards and just make an account. It's not that hard. Nice. But anyways, yeah. Yeah, right now, just like first question they've asked me, like head on, what do I think? Should win game of the year. For me, I've seen Mr. Robot live stream Alan Wake 2. I think the game is amazing. Uh, Baldur's Gate is great as well. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is amazing. I haven't played it, but based on what I've seen, it's it's great. But honestly, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Alan Wake 2. Alright, keep voting. Next category. Best game direction. Now I'm gonna give this one to for direction i wanted to give it to spider-man 2 i really like the story and i really like the way how they handle the characters like i really liked how they made craven like like ill and i really like the story of miles like trying to overcome his um tragedies in this game so yeah so yeah, spider-man 2 best game direction best narrative yeah the only games here that i've seen played alan week 2 Baldur's gate spider-man 2 I'd say best narrative for outstanding storytelling against Spider-Man 2. I swear to God, I'm not going to put Spider-Man 2 on all of them. I swear to God. All right. Best art direction. Hi-Fi Rush for sure. I have never seen a game that looks so in, that looks so amazing. Alan Wake 2 is great, but like, I'm just a sucker for like games that, you know, are like 2D, have like a 2D art style. And like it's just like uneven in a good way. I yeah, high five rush. I'm gonna have to give it to them. Best score and music. Alright, for this one. I'm gonna give it to Hi Fi Rush, because it's a rhythm game, you know. Best audio design. I have to give it to I think not Dead Space. I haven't, I haven't seen a game, but like, I really like it. Spider Man Two. The symbiote sounds, but like, I'm sorry, but like, High Five, like High Five Rush or Alan Week Two. You know what? Let Let's um. I'm I'm gonna grab a coin. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. All right. Heads, Alan Week Two. Tails, High Five Rush. I messed up. I messed up. Alright. Break. Dang, I keep on I keep messing up the catch. Tails. High five rush. Best performance. I'm gonna go to Yuri Lowenthal because I really like how like when he's in, like in the symbiote, I really like how his voice gets kind of deep. And I really like the line in Spider-Man 2 where he says, I'm not the hero. I was like, I'm the hero. I don't need to be saved. The way he said it and the way he said where from that meme. It's really good. Really good. Innovation and accessibility. So no, I'm not going to give it to Spider-Man because I'm, I'm not going to say it. They added some new features in it. Like, Peter has like the new arms. You have to press L one and a button, and it's good. It's it's good. But like at the same time, they took away New Game Plus. They took away some suits. The suit skills aren't in the game anymore. I think they're like I don't think they have any more like suit skills. And I really hope that they had the Miles Morales thing where there's like you have to get combos instead of using um instead of using focus. But no. So in this, so in Spider-Man Two, they had to lose something to gain something. But so yeah, no. Best accessibility, I have to say, Street Fighter Six. Games for impact. 
What the heck does that mean? For a thought provoking for a thought provoking game with a pro social meaning or message. Don't know, but like space for the unbound chance and <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Chance of the Centaur because looks like looks looks like set looks really good. Best ongoing game. No, Fortnite cancels out. Genshin Impact, no, just because. But like Final Fantasy is like but like Final Fantasy is good. I haven't seen Cyberpunk, but like Final Fantasy seems good. Best community support. Ooh, Final Fantasy. For the community, surprisingly, it's really great. Best independent game. I have to say Dredge. Best debut indie game. I haven't played Pizza Tower. And I haven't even seen any of the videos below. I know that it's really popular, but I'm going to pick Dredge. Best mobile game. Is Dokkan Battle in here? No. I'm going to have to say Hello Kitty so competitive. I'm just going to vote for it because it's funny. I'm just going to vote for it because I think it's funny if like Hello Kitty wins. But like my vote is probably not going to matter anyway. Um, this is horny. This game's horny. I don't know why, but it's just horny. Um... I'm going to say Gran Turismo 7. Best action game. Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush for sure. Best action adventure game. Spider-Man. Just because it looks fun. Best RPG. Baldur's Gate. There's no way I'm going to give it to Stairfield. I'm going to laugh if Stairfield wins, like, in a good way. Like, in a, I'm going to laugh in, like, a good way. Okay, I haven't played any of these games except for Street Fighter VI. So, yeah, I'm going to have to pick Street Fighter VI. Best family game. Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4, just because it, it's ama just because it looks amazing. Best strategy game. Uh, Pikmin 4. Best sports game. I'm not going to give it to FIFA. I'm not going to give it to them. I don't know about them. But let's see. Do they have a... No. I'm not going to give it to freaking... Sock for a freaking AAA game. I'm going to... I don't know. Don't know. Best racing game? I, I don't... Uh, I'm just going to pick... The Crew... I don't know, just because I don't know that one. Best multiplayer game. Baldur's Gate. Best adaptation. Okay, so Twisted Metal. I haven't seen the show, but I heard a lot of people say good stuff about it. Mario movie was all right. Last of Us was amazing. Like, I put the first episode on, like, with my family and they thought it was amazing. I thought it was amazing too. I finished the show. It's it's great. I haven't seen the Grand Turismo movie, but uh, according to some people, it was surprisingly great. But I haven't seen Castlevania on Netflix. I wanted to watch it, but I don't have Netflix anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. Some of all on The Last of Us. Most anticipated game. For me, the most anticipated game is Tekken 8. I'm really excited for what they're going to do. Best content creator of the year. Iron Mouse, People Make Game, Quackity, Spring and Cyber Cake. I'm just going to pick Quackity just because his name's funny. Yeah, don't take my voting seriously. Don't take my voting seriously. Best esports game. I don't know. I'm going to say League of Legends. I don't know. Best esports athlete. Now, here's a tricky one because I do not watch esports at all. So, I do not know what to pick from here. I'm going to have to pick. I'm going to pick this guy because his photo is hilarious. Looks like Rock Lee from Best Esports Team. I don't, I don't know. I don't watch, I don't watch um, esports. So, I don't know. I'm going to get into these idiots. Because they forgot to put an, an A in Fanatic. Stupid idiots. Alright, let's see. I don't know. 
uh, any meaning my catch Tiger Bay. So, all right, I give it to her. Christine Harry Potter, best esport events. I don't know. Say Evo. But played. You owe for you are in the badge. Achieved. Voted in all categories. What the? Yeah, don't know what happened, but like, all right. I already voted. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, for you guys saying, oh no, this should have, this should have gone, this should have gone. No, no, no. Listen, this is my opinion, right? This is my opinion. If you want to cry about it, you want to cry about it, then how about you just go to thegameawards.com, make an account, you vote, huh? How about you vote? That's what I thought. All right. Um. Yeah. This is it. See ya.